So I recorded an original version of this review some time ago, but then I was too lazy to edit it, and I decided that actually, after actually watching it, I decided to just make a new, hopefully way better version. So, Ed and Nettie is one of the best and most favoritest and most popular Cartoon Network shows of all time, considered the best by many people, and while I personally think that Courage is the best, it would most likely be in the top 5 if I were to ever make a list, which I probably won't. But, uh, yeah, I'm too lazy to actually go into the history of how it was being made and how it was produced. So I'll just go into what development for this video, which is the DVD history, but first my review on the show. It's good. I'm not going to do sort of whole entire full length retrospective because it's, I'm going to assume that the people who clicked this video actually know about it. Yeah. Anyway, show, good. Now for the amazing DVD history, a Cartoon Network for no reason did a stupid thing with their shows where they wouldn't give any of them releases. This is for some sort of like exclusive special event a part of a stupid DVD lot that he only released two DVDs of. Instead, most of the time they were released on a Cartoon Network Halloween and Christmas themed DVDs where they released random episodes that kind of sort of had to do with the theme but sometimes not really. And very rarely would they ever get season releases or compilation releases or anything. And when they did, they probably ended up being extremely rare or just not known about. So, yeah. For instance, there's a Cartoon Network Hall of Fame release, which I actually have a Volume 1 collection of. It includes Dexter and Johnny Bravo and Courage, which is the one of the only Cartoon Network original series that ended up being completed. So, uh, yeah. There's only Season 1 of the other two series released, but Johnny, uh, the Johnny Bravo set actually had audio commentaries and a featurette, but the other two sets basically got nothing. So yeah. Anyway, on to the editing DVD history. After some episodes being released in the previously mentioned Halloween and Christmas compilations, in 2004 there was a standalone compilation called Edifying Adventures, which is the first time it was on DVD by itself, even though the show started in 1999, so I'm pretty sure it could have had some compilations before then. So yeah. Anyway, in 2004 there was Edifying Adventures, including 6 11 minute episodes, which is 3 of season 1 and 3 of season 2, and Season 4 was on at that time, so I don't know why they didn't get any Season 3 or Season 4 classics. But, um, they didn't for some reason. And the DVD included some extras that I don't even actually know what they even are. So, uh, yeah. Then, uh, sometime, uh, I think it was like 2005 or 2006, there's the incredibly amazing titled Fool's Pair Ed Ice, get it? Release, including 6 episodes. I actually have that, along with the other things I mentioned, the Cartoon Network Hall of Fame Volume 1 DVD collection, including six episodes, six, uh, five of them free from Season 4, and then the last one is a Season 1 episode for some reason. So, yeah. Also, If It Smells Like an Ed, it was, I think it was the first episode they actually fully watched, so it introduced me to the series, so I don't hate it as much as other people do, which you'll see from one of my other recent videos where I talk about it along with a bunch of other Ed and Eddie episodes, but, um, uh, yeah. In some orders, for no reason, did season 3 episode 12. I'm assuming this how it was originally aired, but the last two season 3 episodes and the first two season 4 episodes have credits from the other seasons, so, uh, yeah. So I'm going to assume this how it was originally aired. Um, speaking of different airing orders and things, the first season 5 episode where they go back to school, out with the old and in with the ad, was aired third for no reason, but on most orders it's actually correct chronologically. But not here, it's in the horrible, not even chronologically correct airing order for no reason, it doesn't even make sense and it's stupid. Getting back on topic, in 2006, season 1 was released, included all of season 1 plus some bonus features and extras, and in 2007, Season 2 was released, including all of Season 2, plus bonus features and extras. And then, in 2008, Season 3 wasn't released, uh, not in the US at least. I have no idea when the Thai DVDs were released in the later seasons, but they were released, homie. Oh, why did he even say that? The Season 3 through 5 extremely rare Thai releases were the only releases of the seasons, kind of, sort of, officially, until the complete series came out. So, uh... Yeah, this came out in October 2022, part of a not really line of DVDs, since there's only two of the Cartoon Network 30th Anniversary DVDs, which is Ed and Nitty and Foster's Home. I understand why they chose those, not those specifically, but I understand why those would be part of the choosing process, since they are highly acclaimed shows. Also shows that didn't end up finishing releasing, but now they are. 
So, uh, yeah. I don't know why they just released these two and didn't release any other complete series like Powerpuff Girls or Courage or released previous DVDs under this banner. But, uh, yeah, it's just these two. It's kind of, kind of, sort of lazy, maybe. So, how's the actual DVD? Well, first, let's go into the packaging. Just rid of stock art, but at least it's kind of nice stock art, I guess. All the screenshots in the back are from Dawn of the Earth. It's one of the best ups of the whole series, but I'm pretty sure they could have had some sort of other uh, representation of other episodes or something. So the inside doesn't have the question of 30th branding, so... Uh, yeah. Also, this arrived one month late and extremely horribly broken and manufactured and checked, so... Yeah, that's horrible. Anyway, I like the disc art and how it includes the different characters. And disc one includes Eddie's stupid idiot face. So, okay. I like how it includes the character switch that I just said, so. Yeah. Also includes a pamphlet with even more stock art and includes the episode listing. The DVD releases for the first two seasons, since they were back when DVDs actually had effort put into them, are great. They have great made design and also great extras, plus edited music and different music cues, background tracks, music, or. Whatever you want to refer to them as, they're playing all throughout the venues and it's great. So, yeah. Also, in terms of visual quality, it's good. It's basically just the exact quality you would expect from a show of its time. You can actually see what's going on and it's also actually good. You can identify things. So, yeah. I don't really know what to say about the audio quality besides you actually being able to hear it. So, like the visual quality, it's basically what you can expect from a show of this time. The season 3 through 5 DVDs plus one of the specials and season 6, we'll get into that sometime later probably, are an entirely different story since they're made now with DVDs have no effort and are lazy. So I was basically just prepared for it to be horrible and lazy and it to have no menus and no actual extras, but I wasn't prepared for the quality which is kind of really horrible and crusty and compressed from probably a crappy iTunes version. The quality on the season 3 and 4 episodes is kind of incredibly crusty, also it's incredibly obviously compressed from some sort of previous version. The season 5 school episodes were made with digital coloring so those look less horrible. So yeah. Also two of the episodes on the last disc which are Tight End Ed and Tween and Rock and Ed Place and May I Have This Ed and Look Before You Ed are stretched to widescreen for no reason. So anytime there's some sort of pan to the left or to the right, it looks kind of warped and bootlegged. So, um, yeah, that's horrible. How is it even approved? Especially considering how there's a HBO Max version, which I'm assuming is in the correct aspect ratio, also isn't horribly compressed. So, yeah. And also, there's no reason, considering how the episodes have like seven, each disc has six or seven episodes on it. So I guess the reason was to produce them as cheap and as fast as possible, even though they could have just cut them up there normally and not have to do all this stupid compressing trickery. One other really shitty thing about these DVDs is that they don't include the specials or the movie, is that the specials I could honestly live without, uh, not likely to ever actually watch any of them except for the Valentine's Day special. Uh, so, yeah. But the movie is basically just the big whole entire giant picture show finale that is going to have to include, but for no reason they didn't include it. I can understand them not counting the specials as part of the main line, even though they counted the alien special part of it, but not the other ones for some reason. But I can understand that, but the whole entire finale that ended off the whole series isn't included for no actual reason. There's no separate specials or film collection. So it's just not released. It's the worst possible false advertising imaginable. And it's also especially crappy considering how the Foster's home release, which came out about, about uh, which came out about the same time, included those specials and those movies and things. So there's basically just no reason. At least the Christmas and Halloween specials have actual good quality releases from other DVDs. The Halloween of uh, the Valentine's Day special is forever stuck. And crappy PAL quality, not even the correct dance degree show, bad audio quality, limbo, print, bootleg, site, heaven. What? What? And on my favorite toy legal site, the big picture show is most of the time cropped, horribly spread up, not even the correct length, and in horrible quality. So, we're never going to be able to see it. And no one ripped the Amazon Prime version while they were up there for some reason. So yeah, they have good quality versions of these available, but they're just not on here for 
no reason that makes sense. There's basically just no possible reason to justify the movie not being included. So, uh, yeah. So that kind of just dampens down the quality, but besides that, it's mostly good. So, overall, this set is good with some horrible drawbacks, including missing episodes and shitty quality and bad formatting. But overall, it's good for what it is. And considering how I'm not a super duper diehard and nitty fan, that I don't really care much about this. I'm not going to kill the Cartoon Network Home video executives just because this set has some missing episodes. As I am still pissed off about that, but yeah, mainly because of the movie. Anyway, but I want to take this end section to show you a weird formatting problem with the season 3 through 5 DVDs. Well, not really a problem, I'm going to assume they were produced like that, but so yeah, this is the season 1 disc 2 version DVD or whatever, and this DVD wasn't produced in widescreen, it was produced in 4x3 only. So uh, here's how it looks on the regular uh, wide setting on a portable DVD player. And here's how the episodes look, as they should. So, yeah. So this is a modern DVD, so obviously this is being widescreen, and you can see the horribly lazy menus that are about to come up, so... Uh, yeah. This is still in the portable DVD player's wide automatic setting or whatever. So, yeah. As previously mentioned, DVD is made in widescreen. So there's a difference and the mini quality looks really shittily crusty. So, yeah. Anyway, here's it and all it's bad, compressed, horrible quality glory. Then you put it in the widescreen setting, it looks like this. So, yeah. My guess is that they probably formatted the the DVD two ways in 4 by 3 and in the regular word screen ratio, so that's why it looks like this. For the stretched episodes, it looks normal when they put it in the wide mode because those are in widescreen, but when they put it in the when they put it in this mode that just stretches the image, it's in a squeezed widescreen because this is a tiny little portable DVD player looking screen. So yeah. Also, I guess it being squeezed into a 4x3 format is better because since the quality on these DVDs is literal, literal trash. <coughs> I recorded an additional bonus video thing. So this is the last disc and episode 9 and the only season 6 episode are in widescreen for no reason and this is in the regular widescreen mode so obviously it's just the regular rest ratio. There's also a little bit cut off on the top and bottom for no reason. And then when you put it like this, it's like this. So, uh, yeah. It just makes the shitty formatting even shittier. How the fuck was this even even up here, even allowed?